everybody and welcome to Furcani FX where I'm gonna show you today how to create a back to the future logo and um, for making this you're gonna need a back to the future font that in case you don't have any I will provide one in the description below you're also gonna need Photoshop for making the title and After Effects for animating it so um, this is a normal tutorial alright it's in it isn't very hard to follow but you know um, you might get a little bit lost if uh, you don't know anything about Photoshop of, or After Effects so anyway let's just uh, jump to Photoshop and uh, I work in HD so I'm gonna use uh, you know 1920 per 1080 pixels and uh, I'm gonna use uh, this font that is the one that I'm providing back to the future I'm gonna write here but um the letters are in in the top are supposed to look the other the opposite side so I'm gonna use capital letters so that oops so that they look the opposite side I'm gonna scale it up a little bit all right over there and then I'm gonna write here Frigani all right I'm going to scale them down a little bit too so I think it should be okay over here all right so you should have something like this and um now you have to take this and uh, com uh, select the both of them, all right? Right click and convert on intelligent object. Now go to uh, edition, transform and perspective. Come over here on something like that because you know the back to the future font is like this has a little bit of perspective and Thing is cool like that. Um, now we have to make a stroke for for these letters, and you know, usually if you use Photoshop, you will know that you have to come over here, go to to um, layer style, and go to stroke. But when when you cr create a big stroke, it, this happens. You know, it, it looks like um, it's a little bit rounded, and we don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take this. Um, magic wand if you don't have it here uh, hold here and make sure that you select it and we're gonna hold shift and just click on every letter all right and now we we're gonna go to um, selection uh, modify and extend no um, expand sorry um, I think 10 pixels will be okay yeah it's okay like that alright so now we should create a new layer a new empty layer and drop it at the bottom <coughs> sorry and you have we have to to fill it so check, uh, take this um, paint pot and select the color the color actually is a little bit more bluish the color that it use for this uh, stroke and back to the future so I think like this is okay all right I think it looks nice like that so um just select everything and uh, make sure that you're selecting the layer uh, at the bottom and now go to image no sorry uh, layer um, layer style and um, bevel and now uh, we have to uh, well first make sure that style is uh, is there is uh, interior and now the technique we're gonna take the this hard uh, sensor I don't know how's that said and um, the deepness um scale and everything you know uh, it depends on you pretty much so I'm gonna put it like that I'm gonna actually smoothly smooth it a little bit, a bit more so that we don't we cannot see this stuff over here. All right, it's okay like that. On uh, we're gonna use sort also another kind of shadow. We're gonna use the same shadow that is in a bluish tone like this. So the opacity up 
uh, yeah, I think it looks cool like that. So we said, okay. Um, now we, we have to go to the layer on top and go to again layer, layer style and a superposition of a degrade. And we have to first take a color that should be close to red but not red, still orange. So I think something like that is right. This one exactly the same color. Mm, yeah, something like that. And the middle one, uh, yellow, but also like heading to to be orange. Something like that, okay, and now we can take this. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna just create a new one over here. Check this up because this is actually how it's in the film. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty cool. All right, so now the next thing that we should do, it's uh, creating um, a little bit of, you know, blaze. So we're gonna go to the bottom layer and we're gonna press O. So you should, or if not come here, um, hold and select this one, this tool. Um, we have to, you know, make a little bit of blaze. So um, this is everything manual and this is also depending on how you want it to be. I'm gonna create a little bit of here, over there, and you know this can take uh, as much time as you want to. And I'm, I'm just doing it very fast because this should be a fast tutorial. So think like this, okay? And also, if you want to do the opposite, just hold here and select this hand. And it will do the opposite thing, it will just make the areas darker. But um I think it's pretty cool like that. Alright, so um I think we kinda have it. So uh we're going to save this as a title. Right? And um we we have to make two copies of this. One is the normal one. And now we're gonna go to the to the layer of the top. We're gonna go to a layer layer style and superposition of color. And we're gonna get a black color. So we said okay. And we're gonna save this one uh, here. Save as. Be careful that you don't overwrite the other one. And title black. All right. So, um, okay, we have to go now to After Effects and uh, go to your composition. And we have now to import both of the titles that we just created. So we're first going to work with the black title, that is this one. And uh, we have to uh, make a new adjustment layer. And we're going to mask it. And we going to put it like this and here should be a diagonal line so yeah something like that and we also have to fade it pretty much like 50 I think it's okay like that all right so um we should go now to the second three all right so uh, click there and then go to second four and come down and this should have an animation and the reason why we start our animation in second three is because um, before this uh, before the animation of the place we're gonna create now the title needs to do another animation um, I haven't found any way of doing this if it's not this way you know so um, you know I'm just doing it this way so uh, it worked for me so I guess it will also work for you guys. <laughs> so right, we should now take the the blaze effect, this one, and we have to, uh, you know, put a little bit more of of intensity. We can see the animation of the blaze, and we can even duplicate it. 
and set a little bit less of intensity and more ratio yeah it looks nice we can even expand a little bit or little 5 maybe 20 yeah looks cool like that and you can also regarding the um, the blaze you can come here and instead of original colors you can get a uh, colors A and B so take the black one and put it like to a like a blue tone and do the same one in here put a blue tone and that should give like a bluish blaze supposed to be right anyway I'm just going to leave it as it was before just in case uh, alright so uh, this looks cool like this so now what we have to do is uh, pre-compose this, this thing pre-compose we can call this blaze uh, now we have to drop at the bottom the other title and we want to set this to screen mode so what we just did is that we created this blaze but only applies to the to the stroke not to the to the letter inside because this is the way uh, the film the film logo is done and it's actually a pretty cool effect also kind of eddies um, alright we have to now animate it so um we we have to go now to the um, here title and uh, we're going to pre-compose this again pre-compose and um, title all right um, we have to duplicate this pre-composition go to the mask and in the top the top one we have to mask over here only the the top words that all right and in the other one down just the same but the opposite just select the uh, the word that is at the bottom over there all right so you should have now uh, these two separate layers um we wanna go now uh, to the beginning well no actually we wanna go to second one get the word on the top and set the position there and now go to the beginning and get this way a way of our screen so now should have an animation and now uh, right at the second one take the opacity of the of the word down zero set a keyframe and then go to two oops here and set it to 100 so you you should have this animation we see it coming over here it appears and then the blaze oops actually I think I did it kind of wrong because uh, I said uh, okay I told you guys to put uh, the blaze from 3 on okay I was wrong so uh, <laughs> okay this is easy to fix we're just going to move this over here on this one sorry guys um, move this here all right yeah now we have our animation of the word coming the other one appears and then the blaze all right and now for finishing we can pre-compose the wall thing and split it down a little bit because title is like this and oh it appears okay no don't scale it <laughs> but anyway um, I think you got the idea and uh, this is pretty much it this is uh, how it's done and, you know if you want to add some kind of like, uh, additional blaze or um, which is fed whatever it's up to you so I hope that you find this tutorial um, 
uh, useful and that if you have any kind of doubt just let me know in the comments below or any petition for other tutorial and I hope that you like this video and that you subscribe and I hope also to see you in my next tutorial so see ya!